Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec is stylistically closest to the Impressionists, both in his compositions as well as his form. Now, he was interested in capturing the moments in daily life, but generally with a satirical edge. He exiled himself from society due to a growth defect, resulting in a very short stature. Instead, he reveled in the cheap music halls, the bordellos, and the cafes of Paris. And the piece we're looking at is actually at the Moulin Rouge. If you look in the background, you can see Nicole Kidman uh, coughing up blood back there or something. So let's move ahead and look at the work. This piece at the Moulin Rouge reveals the influence of Degas, Japanese prints, and photography on his work. For example, the asymmetrical composition, spatial diagonals, and strong linear pattern comes from Degas. So we've got the same diagonals that we saw with Degas. We've got the same cutoff composition that we've got from Degas. We also have the linearity of the Japanese woodblock prints. If you look closely, a lot of elements are outlined in the same way that we would expect. And from photography, we have that element of composition being cut off, the candid feel of the painting, giving us that sense that he's truly capturing a real life moment in Paris. Now, although there's nothing surprising about the scene itself, what we do see, yeah, that, is how the artist pushes or exaggerates the elements that stand out. So, how does this become distorted or satirical? Look at the makeup. Yeah, her again. That makeup is false. I mean, after all, think about why you're wearing that much makeup. You're trying to hide who you really are. You're trying to create a persona. And so what you see is, for example, the ear that is regular flesh tone, but the rest of the face that is this creepy white. And he amplifies that through the depiction of these very cool shadows, these blue shadows and the red highlights around the eyes. He's trying to make them look as unusual as possible. And this is no different than today when people go out with makeup to the clubs and really try and hide who they are. So when we look at the piece, it's a satire on this sort of nightclub scene. Uh, so we see these women where their necks are not painted, but their faces are. They've literally put on masks. And he, and he makes a point of always showing us that little element that they've missed, the neck here and here, the ear, for example. We see the gentlemen who are clearly basically making themselves up as well with a little bit of powder or at least with their clothing. Of course, you never wear clothes to the club that actually reflect who you are. No one's interested in who you are. They want to know who you want to be that night. That's the entire purpose of the club. And we get a sense of movement and dynamicism, a sense that this club is always changing through those uses of diagonals that he's taking from Degas. And yet we have that woman really accentuating the satire of the image on the right-hand side. The entire piece is basically a riff on society as he sees it at the time. This false narrative, this false face that we put forward, not just in the club, but in life itself. I mean, after all, we say be true to yourself in life, but how many of us really are? And how many of us really could be? Do you want to be the socially awkward person in the office or do you want to be known for, you know, having a cool car or something? That's what Toulouse-Lautrec is getting at, that none of this is real, that everything you see in this image is a false persona, a false fascia put on for the larger society.